What is up YouTube? It's your boy Bandit and welcome to my newly thought of slash developed series that I'm calling The Duo. And what it is is me and Phil, my boy Philly, doing 2v2 GB, search and destroys most of the time, pretty much gonna be all the time. And in this series I like to I wanna bring you guys like some tips and tricks kinda. Uh bring you do Well hold on. Let me fix that. Rewind. Back it up. Hold it. Alright, here we go. What it's really gonna be is me doing like listenings and like live comms with this. This first one's just uh pretty much the introduction to the series and what I wanna do with it and how and hopefully it goes over like how I want it to go and how I feel like it could help you guys kinda. But yeah, I chose this one, it took it out of the theater. We played these guys, played all three maps. The first map went 6-5 on their host. We was getting warrior by scorpions. I don't even know if it's really warrior. They was just using scorpions, and it was, it got irritating. But I honestly don't like like the term warrior. It happens. You get shit on. It's online. Online is a completely different situation than from like doing a land event. You get bullshit, a lag comp, broken camera angles, all that. But like I said, it happens. There's nothing you can do about it. So warrior is a term that I really don't like. Like I, I like damn, he warriored me. But it, it happens. I get over it. it. Don't piss me off. Just happens and it happens and it happens. But back to what I said. We played like Express. We lost 6-5. Played Raid. Won 6-2. And this is the final map of the three. And we went 6-0. And I go flawless. So that's why I'm bringing you guys this gameplay out of them all. Most of the time I'm probably going to bring you guys the whole like three game series. It's best the three first one and two moves on. That's probably what I'm going to do most of the time. But like I said this is just the intro video. And to catch you guys and bring you guys up to speed of what I want. To happen with this series, I'm gonna get in the series. I'm gonna be explaining all the like different strategies and things you want to do for a two v two. That honestly, you can transfer some of it over to a four v four. But oh, hold on, hold on. We gotta watch this part. Oh, one v two. A hey, one v two for streaks. My teammate died. Front yellow or in yellow somewhere. I do not know. And these guys were rocking hardwired. Uh, I'll discuss that right after this kill cam, boy. Oh, what you doing back there in your base? Coming through the base, you about to die. Juke your ass. Uh. Step it up. Uh. 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 What you doing? Oh. Ow. 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 Oh. 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 But yeah. In this series, it's going to be like some helpful tips and strategies for you guys to succeed in 2v2s. And also, some of the things you can translate over to a 4v4 situation. Really, I just want you guys to hear our communication and how communication plays a big role in these. And uh, honestly, buddying up after like the first initial push or like 30 seconds of a 2v2, you want to kind of like buddy up or just be in a situation where you can help your friends back, honestly. And like right there, he's in my, he's in yellow where he usually goes and he uh, just calls out to cross the A. I be, I'm in A, head glitching and stuff. And that's really how we play this. And my teammate died, so I know he's somewhere brown, back alley, and he, and he goes uh, right there. I seen him. But yeah, back to what I was saying, I had EMPs on at first, and you see me switch from a sub to an assault rifle. And the reason I did that is because the game before this, we was throwing a lot of EMPs, and like, checking, I was using EMPs as like a, kind of like, a stun check, or like checking areas, just tossing them, see if I can get hit markers. And enemy team adapted very well to that, honestly. Last round, I, when Phil died, I told him I should kill him, see if they had uh, hardwired on the dude who he killed him did. So that's why my EMPs didn't have no effect on them. So I like adapted to them. I switched to my uh, M8, which has stuns on it. And honestly, if you're rocking a five perk setup with hardwired attack mask and dead silence and toughness and whatever your first perk is, you're you're wasting potential with your stuns and stuff. So that could have been a bad move on their part, but I honestly don't know the exact class setups they had. So that's why I adapted and and it worked. I don't think I stunned nobody, but if I would have, it would have helped us out even more. You know what I'm saying? I just you just gotta adapt and figure out, try different strategies, uh, get different lines of sight, and try to get a pick. If you get the first pick in a two v two, you should never lose the round, like they did. But I I got the two piece. Unless, like I said, it's just you gotta. I don't want to say this. Just gotta play a little smarter than you would normally, I guess. Like, I don't know why he would challenge that. Like, 
like I said, hopefully the series is going to be a whole lot better. This introduction video is just, like I said, an intro. And you're going to see that I go 9-0. and And we go 6-0 and sweep the uh, last game of the series. So that's what I'm saying. It's just... If the video was live time, you'll see it's much more entertaining and much more in-depth. You'll, you'll hear our thought process, like, our thought process. See what we do, see, listen to our call-outs, and see how the communication and everything plays a big factor in our success in the 2v2s. I think right now, 2v2s, we are 17, I don't know, I don't know, 17, like, 13 and 4. But we really don't do them that often, but I feel like we should start doing them more, and we probably will. But this is the last round. We know where the last guy is, and he's in the back. And honestly, this is a dumbass move. Maybe he just can, like, what do I want to say? Like, forfeited, said he lost. Because cause he just stays back here in the factory pretty much the whole time. And he can't even plant the bomb. We already picked off his one teammate. So it's like, no, he like he's not doing nothing. I, I, he shot at me, so I was like, hmm, he has to plant. So I'm going to run back. I got a score streak. I got a score, score streak that can pretty much win us the game. So that's my move. I'm going to go back, stay alive, sit in Grandma's house, and all that. Because Phil's watching across from A to whatever. Well, A, uh, Factory to Green. So, game's pretty much over. I call in Lightning Strike Ping. He's still in the Factory. Like, like, what are you doing? You got 30 seconds or 20 seconds right now to plant the bomb. You got to plant the bomb and win. And you're down 5-0. You got to make moves. And the moves he didn't make cost him the game. The game's going to end here in about, what, 18 seconds. But like I said, this is... The series is going to get much more entertaining. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy it. And peace.